The process control allows you to write code that launches other applications. Now, while this functionality was possible in previous versions of .NET, it wasn't encapsulated in such an easy to use control that you can simply drag from your toolbox onto your designer surface and then configure using the properties window or via code. So this simple example demonstrates two ways to launch a Windows application from within our application. And the first method is simply by setting the properties of the process control. And then the second method is to set the properties in code. So first of all, we can find the process control within our components section of our toolbox. See, it is right here. So I dragged two of these onto the designer surface and renamed one of them the Notepad process and the other one the Internet Explorer process. So as you might guess, we're going to open up Notepad and then we're going to open up Internet Explorer. The only real difference is how we set some of the initial properties. In the Notepad process control, we go to the Start Info property, expand it open, and set the file name equal to notepad.exe. We can use a little ellipsis to find the application that we want to launch. And then I also set the working directory to the directory where you'll find the notepad.exe um, file. And you'll notice that I use this nomenclature of the percent sign system percent sign to indicate which uh, operating system folder will contain the system32 folder. So in this particular case we're using uh, the system nomenclature which on Windows XP will go to C colon slash Windows slash and we'll look for the system32 folder to find our notepad.exe. There are a number of different uh, items properties that are interesting like the ability to send arguments. So for example we could um, uh, send along a particular text file that we want to open in Notepad. And we can uh, also set uh, a particular user that we want uh, this application to run under a specific user account. So at this point let's launch the application and we'll come back and explain uh, this example a little bit further once we see it running. So here we are, we're going to click the load Notepad uh, button and you can see that it opens up Notepad and also we're going to go back to our application and click the close Notepad button and when we do we have uh, a little notification that the Notepad has been closed by the user this is a message box that we created just to let us know what's happened and just to show you how this works we're going to go ahead and load up Internet Explorer as well and this time we're not going to use the close button, although we certainly could, but I'm going to use the Internet Explorer's close capability, and you can see here that we get essentially the same message. So our application can monitor the state of the application that it launched. All right, let's take a look at the source code and how we accomplish this. So taking a look at the Form 1 VB, let's make some space here. Let's take a look at those buttons that launched uh, our Notepad application. First of all, notice that we set the Enable Raising Events property equal to true. This will allow us to monitor the state of the application so that if somebody else uh, closes the application outside of our application's ability to close the application, that we still can receive an event that it closed. After we've set that property, then we move on to actually just use the start method. And that's all it takes to uh, actually launch Notepad. To kill Notepad, all we need to do or stop it, it from running, uh, you can see we have our close Notepad button click event. We simply call the kill method. Now, the method that's in between, or rather the uh, the uh, event handler that's in between is the exited event. Let's go back to our uh, designer surface and take a look at the notepad process and look over here at the events. You can see that there are three events that are defined for our process or three uh, events that we can handle at least. First of all we just looked at the ex exited event handler and we're going to take a look at it again in just a moment but we can also 
uh, handle an event whenever data is output from Notepad or whatever the application is, we can retrieve that uh, the resulting data that's output. Or if an error occurs within that application, we can try to uh, receive it and take a look at what that error was. Now we're not going to demonstrate that in, in these examples, but that's certainly some more capability that we could explore uh, within this control. But specifically, whenever the application exits, we want to show a message box. So we simply, in this case, show a message box that says the notepad has been closed by the user, and that's essentially all that we do there, whether that's uh, through the use of our application or through Notepad itself. The similar is uh, it's similar to what we've done with the Load Internet Explorer. Let's take a look at that event. Now we've done a little bit uh, more work here because we had to set up the uh, some of the initial properties of the Internet Explorer uh, process control. First of all, we define a variable for the path of the process for Internet Explorer. And so in this particular case, we use my.computer.filesystem.specialdirectories.programfiles specifying Internet Explorer. So this will look within our program files directory, wherever that's at on this particular computer. And we'll look in the Internet Explorer submenu for iExplorer.exe. So once we've defined that variable, then we're going to set that equal to our file name property. You can see that here again, we're setting the enable raising events property true because we want to monitor the use of our uh, instance of Internet Explorer. And then similar to what we did before, we simply kick off using the start method. We kill it using the kill method. And in the exited uh, event, we simply show a message box. So the process control provides a very simple method of starting up and stopping other applications programmatically, as well as the ability to monitor the application to see what data it outputs and when it's shut down and why. 